Here's another act of kindness that's going a long way for a little boy with autism. Matthew Mansell loves trains. He got the surprise of a lifetime when a train conductor made a special pit stop just for him. News specialist Ashley Kewis met with the boy and his family tonight as live in Clinton with the KSL exclusive. Ashley? Yeah, Matthew's parents say trains have always been a way that they could connect with their son. It's also something he feels comfortable talking about with others. Well, now Matthew has a lot to talk about and quite a story to tell. This is the best sound in the world, according to 12-year-old Matthew Mansell. It's gonna come any moment. And Monday through Friday, you'll find him here at Meadows Park in Clinton. Train schedule in hand. <laughs> And he usually will wave to them and, and things like that and, uh, and you know, try to get them to honk their horn. You guys are crossing? Yes, he's quite the safety enforcer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go both ways. But yesterday around 10 a.m., Matthew got a special surprise. It was just right here close to the crossing gates. A Union Pacific train conductor, probably used to seeing Matthew each day, put the brakes on. Train stopped. And uh, the train conductor uh, actually walked up to the fence right here and met Matthew at the fence. Through the fence, he handed over the things that every good train conductor needs. Sunglasses, gloves, and a vest and a lantern. A moment captured in this picture just moments after the train pulled away. A moment that means more to this family than the conductor may ever know. It takes quite a ways to stop a train. You know, they don't just stop on a dime, so you gotta know that this guy, you know, planned it out and really thought about it before he, he left for work that day. I, I felt real special. The Mansells now hope to find the man who made their son so happy. Oh, I would want to give him a hug and say thank you, because, oh my goodness, that, it was a really big deal for Matthew. It meant a lot to us. We can't believe, you know, what he did, and, and it's something that Matthew will, will probably talk about for years to come. And we reached out to Union Pacific tonight to see if we could help track down this conductor for the family. Union Pacific said it's a little bit like looking for a needle in a haystack, but they're going to try because, guys, I know that there's an entire family that really wants to say thanks.